Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jam, and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Uh, elephant in the room, or lack thereof, I did some reorganizing, rearranging, heavy duty cleaning over the weekend, so things look a little different in my background. I really, really enjoy cleaning and organizing, so, uh, yeah, that's what I did. It's not quite finished, but I am staving off a breakdown, perhaps? I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, as for the eyeshadows for today's look, I had something in mind, you know, like pretty dramatic and creative, but I think I'm going to wait on that because I really want to use this eyeshadow I have from Davina Cosmetics. This was the whole maybe solar something. There's a, a name for this. They're all multi-chromes. Smooth and gorgeous. So I'm going to use this one here. It's like a purple blue flip. I cannot show you because the little like cakes of eyeshadow come out of the pan. They don't break if I'm gentle, but they do come out. So uh, yeah, I can't I really can't take it out and show you. I can swatch it. Maybe let's do that. These are just like amazing eyeshadows. So I'm so bad at this game. Why did I do it that way? Wonder if I Oh, well, maybe sort of. I don't know. I'm this is I'm really bad at this watching things, but it's gorgeous. So that's going to be the main color on my eye. Like looking down at it, it's half blue, half purple. Like it's stunning. I just can't show you. And I wanted to use the Ulta Blushing Blooms palette again. I've only used it the one time. Here we are at the end of August, and I don't really have many uses. So I thought I would use the cooler like this one and this one, possibly one of these that I didn't use in the video as a kind of base contour for the multi-chrome. So that's what I'm going to do. Super simple. And then probably the dew drop shade for the inner corner area because that is a very dark multi-chrome. That's my plan. Let's see if it works out. I'm going to go into the Dusty Lilac shade in the Ulta palette and just get that going through my like crease transition-ish area. I thought because these aren't really brown, but they're not really a color either, it might be a nice base or backdrop, background for the multi-chrome. And yeah, I think that's definitely gonna work. Super simple, I think the look is gonna be like two, maybe three shades, predominantly just building that multi-chrome multi -chrome up on my eye. Yeah, I like that. Let's just for the fun of it go into the darker shade called Please. Whimsicle. Dusty Lilac and Whimsicle. I don't know if this one's darker or not. I mean, in paint they look very, very similar, but I do think this has a little bit more depth. Interesting. In pan, they look, I don't know, like a, a nudish tan, but on my eyes, this is what you get. I did prime with the Yuge, the NARS Soft Matte Concealer, and the Davina Prelusion Eye Base. I really like that a lot. All right, so I think this one will go in with the Multi Chrome. I mean, super duper simple, but let's get this on and then see what else the eye look needs. I'm probably going to use it all over my entire lid. Like from most 
almost inner to completely outer. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to use my Singe E01 in that shade called Thermosphere. All right, this is just dry on my Singe brush. I was going to do my face first, but I wasn't sure if I would get fallout from this. And I couldn't remember if I needed to wet it. And you always can wet your eyeshadows. But I do like to see if we need to or if we just want to. Because sometimes it makes a difference. That is so pretty. And I'll use my shadow whether I have to wet it or not. But if you have to, that might affect how you feel about it. I think that's looking okay. I'm going to just adjust this shape and I'll probably end up taking a little blending brush just along the edge. So I can blend out that line. But... That's looking pretty cute. When I look straight into the mirror, I see a blue shiny shade. So I'll be interested to see what it looks like with both eyes done. And then of course we'll do the tricky back and forth thing. Okay. I'm going to adjust the shape a little bit more just in here because I do want this to be the main focus. I'm going to bring in a little bit further and then we'll use that dewdrop shade. for the super inner corner. Well, yeah, I am getting lots of fallout. Again, didn't wet it and I'm not being overly careful. So on a used but cleaned off Ripper 13, I'm just going to run it along the edge of the Davina shade, Thermosphere, just to blend it a little bit. I think it will give it a purple hue, I think. I could be wrong. I was once before. Okay, I think I like that. And I'm going to go into the shade Dewdrops from the Ulta palette. If I remember correctly, I did really like this as an inner corner. So let's see. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to get that on and blend it over the Davina shade. Because I don't really want it to be like my inner corner highlight. I just want it to be the inner portion of the lid. If that makes any sense at all. In my head it does. So that's, you know, <laughs> something. I think that works. I know it looks a little bit uh, crazy right now because my face is naked, but I'm going to quickly go off camera. Uh, quickly, it was going to take me a minute and do the rest of my face, my other eye, of course, not in that order. And then I'll come back and show you the finished look. All right, I'm back and the look is completely done, obviously. Let me scoot you in for an up close reconnoida at the eyes and hopefully you can see the shift. I don't know. I won't know until I'm editing per usual. I love 
the Davina eyeshadows, especially this formula. I have Sea of Shadows, the Cove one, I have the Unicorn one. They all have names. I'm just really bad at remembering things. And some of the formula in them are chunkier and maybe don't mm, make the favorites list, if you will. But they're really nice. I just love that this formula is so smooth and so easy to use. It's fantastic. I do wonder how to keep little cakes of eyeshadow in their little pans, but I could reach out and ask Deandra. She's the owner of Divina Cosmetics. She is incredibly nice. Holy moly. She has a YouTube channel. I'll link everything in the description box um, in case you want to go take a reconnoita or, you know, whatever. She's cool. Um, she's always been super friendly and kind to me. And I don't know, that counts in my book. When I was doing my eyeliner, I remembered that she doesn't ever use eyeliner. She uses eyeshadow because half of this eye was the blue Thermosphere eyeshadow. And I wanted to remember to mention that. It's still there. I mean, I did go over my waterline with the ColourPop multi-chrome blue to purple eyeliner. But yeah, she uses eyeshadow. So sometimes I get it in my eye accidentally and I like it, <laughs> but uh, I, this palette, I'm still so surprised by how good it is. I cannot with this thing. Yeah, somebody at Ulta needs a raise or something, I don't know. As for the rest of what's on my face, I wanted to use a bunch of the Ulta products again. So I went with the Ulta concealer and the uh, Sculpt and Glow trio in the shade Santorini Sun. I cannot recommend this enough. Boy, howdy. I actually used the bronzer in there as kind of a contour-ish and then blended over a little bit with my Hourglass radiant bronze light this is much warmer and i don't know i just i really like using multiple products i like the dimension that it adds to my face i like that i'm using the products that all feels awesome to me and then of course the blush i used as well i started with the nyx butter than before which is number 11 in the lineup in deep raspberry this is what is up here high on my temples. I love these blushes. I know you're not surprised and I keep saying it, but there you have it. And then I used the one in this little trio as like the blending out shade and my highlight in all the highlighty spots is the highlighter from this. My finishing powder is the Ulta finishing powder. Oh cool, okay. And this is in shade light neutral. I like it. I think it's very, very nice. It might be a tiny bit too light for me uh, this time of year, but my foundation, if you will, is the Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Powder Bomb Thingy in 3.5. I'm not sure what possessed me to get 3.5 instead of 3 like I did before, but I like it. I think it works. Uh, the parts of me that are tan tend to go more orange when I'm tan or warm, whatever, um, as well as the red, because the red is just, it's my skin color. So anyway, um, what else? Oh, I used my Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder as my setting powder for the foundation and concealer. And my lip is um, LA Girl Ultimate Intense Auto Lip Liner in the shade Enduring Mauve. And then my lipstick is missing in action. Did I put it away? Wouldn't surprise me. My lipstick is the Juvia's Place Lip Balm thingy in Sugar Cookie. It's the one that feels cold 
I really like this. I probably will repurchase this at some point in a different shade because I do actually genuinely like it that much. So is that everything? No. I also used the Ulta Mascara. So that is on my top lashes. No liner today or no false lashes today. Just, you know, all natural with my blue eyeshadow. <laughs> Anyway, I do want to mention also that I have a few videos pre-filmed um, when the urge strikes or if I'm filming something else and can fit in another video. Um, I'll do two in one day or if I had an idea and it was fun but maybe not time sensitive or pressing or particularly helpful for you to see it immediately if not sooner. I'll just keep it and uh, upload it at some point in the future. Uh, so I do have one of those as well because I thought it was a fun video. Um, so those will be coming and it might get confusing with the change in the background. So I just want to put that out there real quick so you didn't call the men in the white coats because someone's not right. <laughs> Anyway, hopefully you like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Be good and remember to be kind to you. Bye.